Welcome to video one for this unit on measuring circles. In this video, we're going to focus on measuring relationships. Imagine stacking pennies and measuring how tall the stack is. When we measure the values for two related quantities, like the number of pennies and the height of the stack, we can plot the measurements in the coordinate plane. The graph can help us decide if it makes sense to model the related quantities with a proportional relationship. Is this a proportional relationship? If the points are close to a line through 0, 0, then a proportional relationship is a good model. The height of the stack appears to be proportional to the number of pennies in the stack. Another way to investigate whether or not a relationship is proportional is by making a table. Here's some data for the weight of different numbers of pennies in grams. Is this a proportional relationship? We can find the unit rate by taking the weight in grams divided by the number of pennies. This gives us the grams per penny. We might expect this relationship to be proportional, but these quotients are not very close to one another. The relationship between the weight and the number of pennies is not proportional. In fact, the metal in pennies changed in 1982, and older pennies are heavier. This explains why the weight per penny for different numbers of pennies is so different. In summary, it can be difficult to measure the quantities in a proportional relationship accurately. Sometimes, measurement error can cause the graph to be not perfectly straight and the quotients to be not exactly constant. However, the relationship shown on the graph should still be close to a straight line through the origin, and the quotients should be close to constant for it to be a proportional relationship with some measurement error. Thank you for watching video one of four for this unit on measuring circles.